Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Ah, today I had a chance to visit Galileo Math and Science School, the second graders today. Ah, yes, what a wonderful time we had today. All of the second graders together asking some great questions, and we really had a detailed discussion about the water cycle, which they're going to be studying. I had to get them ready for their test that was coming up. So we were talking about evaporation and condensation, and of course the snow that was falling outside. We had some light snow flurries today, so all the kids were answering, asking great questions. And coming up tonight on Fox 9, as we do each week after I go and talk to the school. Uh, several of the kids ask questions on camera and I'll be answering those questions coming up starting tonight on my special weather segment on Fox 9 at 9 o'clock. Just after 9 o'clock we'll do that special weather segment. We'll answer those questions and uh, we'll have more questions throughout the rest of the week. Now let's take a look at what happened for, uh, what's going to happen for tomorrow. My three degree guarantee I said we'll hit 50 degrees for tomorrow. I think it's going to be pretty close call. Still a chilly day but not quite as stormy as today as far as precipitation goes. We've had all kinds of rain and snow out there today and we still have some advisories in effect now for Baker County where snow is flying at this hour and also up in the blues there you see uh, the Browner region up in this region when I-84 goes through northeast Oregon you can have a problem is that same section and the snow covered roads coming down to just west of Ontario there's even a little wet slush on the road uh, around Ontario and towards Payette where the precipitation is coming down heavier drags cold air down and brings the, the temperature down a little bit and you can get more of an accumulation so that'll be brief here and we'll start to see this warm up here in a little bit, but it's going through the blues up in Northeast Oregon that we're having some issues at this hour, so keep that in mind. I want to show you a picture of Bogus Basin going up one of the lifts here. Not a lot of snow, but you can see the flakes flying. At least it's snowing out, and a burst of snow will come through with maybe one or two inches of snow, and what we see near Ontario starts to push towards the east here, and so a little bit of snow, and that'll be the story. Not much going on on the mountain here over the next week or so. All of our storms are pushing to the north, and even Brundage Mountain is not going to be getting a tremendous amount of snow but you can see this is the snow that fell last week, that four inches. So today we've had about an inch of snow. That other snow still hanging on. It's been cold certainly over the weekend. Temperatures are going to come up a little bit. But we're still going to get a little more snow, just no significant storms for a little while. This is Midvale Hill heading up Highway 95. You get north of Weezer going up towards the West Central Mountains. A lot of fog out here and snow as well. So be careful on the roadways tonight. You get above the valley floor. While Smith's Ferry, it was just wet. This could get very icy tonight again as those temperatures begin to drop. Now it's 28 McCall. Here's that heaviest burst of snow which will move through the Treasure Valley. Might turn our rain back over to snow even in the Boise Ada County area. It's 33 in Mountain Home. There's a slight chance for slick spots around Mountain Home or Black's Creek when this burst of snow goes by. So keep that in mind. But temperatures I think will stay above freezing and tonight we'll be flirting with the freezing mark. Untreated roads could get a little bit slick but you can see this is that heavy burst of rain snow that's pushing to the east and that's moving through Canyon County now and we'll move through the Treasure Valley tonight. Now it moves through this evening and then we'll start to dry things out a little bit during the day tomorrow. In the afternoon we might get a few breaks, get a little sunshine in, but just gloomy weather is going to be sticking around. Jet stream bringing cloud cover in, moisture staying to the north. Northern Idaho will get more rain and snow in the Central Mountains. A little bit of snow tomorrow, a few inches over the week, but really with our jet stream to the north there's no major storms for much of the country here and we're just going to miss it here across the northwest. Unfortunately for the ski areas it's going to take a little while for us to get that snow build up. Upper 40s to near 50 tomorrow, so generally a cloudy day tomorrow and chilly. Watch out for icy spots on some of the roads early in the morning. We might see a couple showers later in the day. In the mountains, not a lot of snow, but there's a chance for some rain showers in the lower elevations and some snow showers on the higher elevations. Temperatures getting into the 30s. Not a big storm coming in, but we could have some nuisance issues on the roadways. Keep that in mind. East Central Mountains, scattered snow showers, otherwise mostly cloudy. Stanley Sun Valley, Magic Valley tomorrow, mostly cloudy, light winds, 44 to 50. Kind of a ho-hum, gloomy day tomorrow with the cloud cover, but not much precipitation. That extended forecast, precipitation tonight in the form of rain and snow, and temperatures are not going to drop like a rock, but we could flirt with the freezing mark towards morning, so we watch out for icy roads that way. Mostly cloudy. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday into the weekend. There's a chance for showers this weekend, but we're warming up to the mid 50s. So if you head into the football game on Saturday, I'll keep you updated <laughs> on that Bronco cast. It was That's so right. cold today. Yeah, that wind was not feeling good. The wind good. was brutal. Yeah, if it's going to be this cold, I agree with you guys. Yeah, it's because it's snow. snow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. All right, thanks, guys. Coming up next on today's Six 